Hello friends, this is Ann Pichan. Welcome to my mathematics class. Uh, today I have taken one topic from grade 12 mathematics which is very important, combination. This is also part of the permutations and combinations. Uh, so statement of the theorem is the total number of combinations of an object taken R at a time or uh, ncr or c of n comma r is given by the expression ncr is equal to n factorial over factorial of n minus r into r factorial this is the statement of today's theorem very important theorem in combinations right uh, let's know what is the combination let me tell you in a short combination is also the arrangement uh, just like okay permutation is arrangement but what is the difference between permutation and combination why we need two things uh, in permutation orders uh, order of the your object matters objects matter but in case of the combination orders of the your object does not matter so let's see this is also okay uh, arrangement right so here i have written combination uh, let's see any selection okay especially okay selection of which can be made taking sum or all right of number of objects is called a combination okay so this is the definition of the combination example also i've taken a team of three players a team of three players selected out of five players is a combination of five players taken three at a time if we suppose okay, if we have a 10 players we want to make the team of six players then we can see in the language of combination a combination of six player com sorry combination of 10 players uh, taken six at a time okay here also so just like okay combination of here uh, a team of three players selected out of five players is a combination of five players taken is a combination of five players taken three at a time we will make the team of three right in the combination the order here also written uh, order of the objects does not matter this is the important thing this is the key difference between permutations and combinations the number of combination of an object now on uh, notation the number of an objects taken are at time is denoted by symbol c of n r or n c r we can use anyone either of one you can use there's no problem for uh, representation the combination of an object taken at at a time okay okay just suppose okay uh, if i want to um, uh, make the selection of two questions out of uh, five questions in terms of combination or uh, symbolically i may write down in this form of five okay combination of five questions taken to at a time this is the notation okay so let me represent let me explain with the example with the help of example mm, see i've taken three here i've taken okay or uh, three letters a b c i'm going to taken two at a time okay taken two at a time if we take two at a time then we will have combinations uh a b and uh, b c and a c only three combinations you will get all right so how many combinations you will get only three combination because a b b a same thing uh, in case of the combination ordered of the objects does not matter you have b c and c b same thing and a c except these combinations you are not going to get here right so let's see here a b c d i've taken okay three taken three at a time then let's see how many combinations we can get uh, here a b c okay and uh, you can make a c d and uh, one okay b c d okay uh, a b c done b c okay a c d done and b c d done now one more okay uh, we will get a b d i think not taken right a b d so here we will we can make uh four combinations right uh if we here take all three a b c taken all let's suppose okay uh taken three or uh, uh, that is okay you can say all uh then you will have only one combination 
only one combination you will see taken all at a time right and here taken all at a time so taken all then you will get only a b c d only one combination you will get here right so okay we want to prove okay how to prove okay with the help of this example i'm going to make that clear stay with channel and watch completely each and every line of this video okay so let's move you know the next step or uh, a b so there are three combinations how many combinations are there three combination let's move only this example i am taken two at a time right so okay to explain theorem i'm taking this a uh, case taken two at a time here how many objects are there three so there are three objects let's represent by three objects by n let's suppose okay n right let's repeat here taken two at a time taken r at a time so let's say okay this one r any problem so three is represented by n two is represented by r so how many combinations are there one two three here three combinations are there right so three combinations are there now let's see okay this each one combination second combination third combination let's convert into the permutation a b uh, how many permutations you can uh, make permutations how many permutations you will get okay of a b a b and b a because in uh, in the combination of a b there are two letters so two letters can be um, interchange that can be arranged in two ways a b and a b a. so you will get here two permutation right here also you will get similarly b c and c b two permutations and uh, here also you will get here uh, a c and c a how many permutations you will get mm -hmm. two permutations so how many total permutations you get two plus two plus two how many six permutations you got okay six permutation because each producing two permutations right so each combination of two objects taken two at a time is going to produce two permutations right two permutations and so total okay six permutations we are getting right six permutation now in how many ways we can say let's suppose here three combination and we can say okay this one is or three times two because one is producing okay two right so three times two you are getting okay let's have taken two this is your r okay and see very carefully taken two at a time okay here r and three let's suppose okay you don't know okay we have to find out okay to be calculated let's suppose calculating to be calculated to be calculated let's suppose x okay so this expression we can write down uh, x into two or uh, x into R, okay x is your combinations uh, total number of combinations right and r means taken at a time so all right this is the in combination this will give you total number of combination total number of combinations x is equal to two. this should be equal to because here how many letters are there three three letters if you want to find out directly permutation three letters can be arranged in three factorial ways right so this is also permutations x times two is also total number of permutations right and we can move okay x is equal to three factorial upon two we will get okay three times two fact two times one is equal to two times okay two only right and uh, here two factorial you can say two factorial and two times one cancel is equal to three because here r sorry r factorial you can say right here because okay on uh, two elements then we can arrange in uh, two factorial ways here okay r is three so these three can be arranged in you know how many permutation okay will give this will give okay three factorial permutations right each combination will give uh will, uh, will give okay three factorial permutation if if there are okay three objects in each combination if suppose okay, if there will be four then we will write down here four factorial so okay what we came to know from here so one thing we came to know see very carefully or uh, we came to know uh, if you are clear about this concept uh, then uh, from all these things we have calculated one 
uh, we have got one thing okay we got to okay each combination each combination of right and objects taken are right each combination of right so simply let me write down okay each combination so simply each combination uh, gives rise to r factorial permutation permutations r factorial permutation each so it's very simple and total number permutation we can if we know total number of combination then just multiply by r factorial you will get total number of permutations right so this is okay each combination gives rise to r factorial permutation see how e this is the each combination this is each combination give rise to two factorial permutation like right? one two two factorial right and here each combination okay a b c will give rise to three factorial permutation we can write down okay in three ways right okay so six ways okay a b c all right three factorial ways so similarly if we have taken r at a time then okay each combination will give you r factorial permutation right this is the key word okay each combination each combination right each combination gives rise to r factorial this one is r factorial permutations okay so if if this line is clear now let's move into the theorem now let's move uh, into the theorem how to start the total number of combination of an object taken are at a time this is in four let's let's suppose okay or let and comma a be the or be the total number of combinations of an objects taken are at a time let uh, this be the total number of combinations of an object taken are at a time the very simple way we will do uh, okay mm, since each combination of an object taken r at a time gives rise to r factorial permutations here see each combination of an object because of the combination of an object and of this taken are important thing taken are at a time gives rise to r factorial this is the, okay r factorial permutations if you take it doesn't matter okay how many of this you are taking here if you take here two then two factorial is right for each each will give rise if you have three taken three then three factorial permutations if you have four then four factorial permutations if you are then taken are then are factorial permutations as i have shown just now in uh, examples right so very simple if each okay provides you are factorial permutation then this will how many just multiply therefore therefore c of n comma combinations will give rise to Our factorial time C of n R or N C R permutations, right? So just 
first unit to math we applied because one each one gives you this one and this will uh, how many this will give you so definitely this much right how many this will give rise to this one give rise to okay, permutations all right now already we have studied or oh, we know the total number of total number of permutations permutations of an objects taken are at a time is given by n p r is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial okay already we have proved in permutation right uh, one theorem already i have uh, done okay uh, in one video so this one is right a permutation total number of permutation right total number of permutation of n objects taken r at the time is given by p of n r is equal to n factorial right upon factorial of n minus r okay so this means okay this is also total number of permutations and this is okay uh, also give okay, total number of permutations all right everybody once again this this numbers this gives you okay, total number of this is also okay this is your total number of permutations right of n objects um, by using combinations and uh, this is okay to this also total number of permutation by using the formula of permutation right the by using the theorem right theorem of permutation so therefore we can say uh, a factorial therefore okay, they must be equal to each other a factorial times right okay and comma is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial or we can write down okay or because we have to find out okay this one and uh, n factorial over n minus r factorial times your r factorial that okay now at last you can write down hence the proof as usual so one of the important theorems in combination or right, like this way we can uh, prove now we have properties of uh, this theorem right properties of combinations well, i will tell you in next video so go through this theorem this theorem is very important and uh, then i'll make the uh, videos um, based on the questions of combinations uh, okay if you have any problem if you want uh, to ask any questions about this theorem you can write down in comment box uh, without any hesitation this is your own teacher you can think and uh, I'm your each and every student's teacher okay uh, thank you very much for watching bye bye